guys welcome back to my channel so today is a really really special video because it is dominica's 42nd year of independence so today i thought that i would reminisce on some of my favorite things about dominica and give you my top five things about the country so that hopefully if you are back home it will inspire you to go out there and really discover our beautiful home Dominica or hopefully it will inspire you to add Dominica to your post-covid travel bucket list <laughs> yes I know you see it at the bottom of your screen click that subscribe button you keep coming back so subscribe let's get to a thousand subscribers together without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> are my personal clips that I just wanted to share with you guys my experiences in Dominica and some of my favorite things being Dominican and things that I really miss about home so it couldn't be our independence day without me starting with independence season one of my favorite parts about Dominica and what really and truly makes Dominica unique is that we have a full-blown independence season so independence is literally as big of a season as carnival is we start at the beginning of September and we roll right down until November 4th. So on November 3rd is our Independence Day and November 4th is our Community Day of Service. But even after that, on the weekends after, you will see jams and fets happening for post-independence or still celebrating independence. But of course, the biggest thing and my favorite part about the independence season, besides all the cultural shows, besides the food, besides Creole in the park, besides all the other independence fets and parties, I really and truly miss the World Creole Music Festival. The last time I was at a World Creole Music Festival was 2016. Honestly, <sighs> it's too long and I don't like saying it out loud. But our Royal Creole Music Festival is a huge weekend long festival of three nights of pulsating rhythms. I have some clips from my 2016 experience at World Creole Music Festival. I'm gonna insert them here and let you guys enjoy. <laughs> Dominica without talking about local food. If you guys have seen my Dominican tag, you already know I love a mixed broth. That is my favorite local meal. A good mixed broth with the dumplings, a little bit of pig snout, some fish, some blue dashing, you know. It really and truly hits the spot. Now besides the broth, something that's really special about independence season is that it coincides with our hunting season. And of course, that means crab and lots of it. Crab back. I definitely have had crab kalu and I have been missing it so much this season. Of course, all our other local favorites, we have bakes, we have smoked meats, red bean soup, the bakes and salt fish, bakes and smoked herring, bakes and cheese, bakes and tuna. It just, it goes on. <laughs> 
I really and truly miss the food. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it too much. You definitely have to experience, if you've never been to Dominica, it's all our local dishes. And number three, what I absolutely love about my country is how blessed it is in terms of nature. Dominica is very, very pure and untouched and there is so much to do outside. I've lived in Dominica most of my life and literally I still haven't been to every waterfall that there is that you can visit. There are still some that are on my list that I need to cross off. I really and truly enjoy going on hikes. We got waterfalls, we have lakes, we have beautiful black, white, and red sand beaches, rivers, and there's so much to explore and so much to do. Draw a couple of these clips of my favorite moments in Dominica outside. <laughs> Something else that is just honestly breathtaking about Dominica is the views. Views everywhere. Dominica is a very hilly country and most of the population lives along the coast. So of course, a big perk of that is absolutely breathtaking sea views. Check out mine back home. Quarantine diaries. Look at today. It is so pretty. Backyard views. And of course, number five for me on this list is our carnival. I'm honestly so happy that I got to play mass this year and I got to be part of Dominica's 2020 carnival because especially now with COVID and everything, mm -mm, feels like a blessing, especially after missing it the year before. But Dominica's carnival is absolutely unique. I have been to about three or four other carnivals in the Caribbean and I definitely will tell you while I do enjoy those carnivals, I still think that I would take Dominica's carnival over all of them. Dominica's carnival is unique, it's very easy to enjoy no matter where you're from and there's an element for everybody. There is our pageantry, our calypsos, our costumes, even and then also me, if you didn't know, I have an event company in Dominica called Incognito Experience. So of course, I really love Carnival because not only do I take part as a reveler, but I'm also a part of organizing some of our Carnival events like Wine Down. And then we also partnered with the Dominica Festivals Committee this year and helped them out with Sunrise. So take a look at some of my favorite Carnival clips from this year. <laughs>
just some of my favorite things about home and happy independence to Dominica once again. If you've never been to Dominica and you're watching this, definitely put it on that bucket list for you to travel to one day. You should experience our Dominican carnival, our Dominican independence, our food, our magic, our nature at least once in your life guys after all of this covid and everything the next carnival or independence that i get to go to i will probably cry if you like this video click that thumbs up button leave a comment down below show some love don't forget to click that subscribe button and i'll see you next time